Friday evening, everyone. It's 21 News Chief Meteorologist Eric Wilhelm here. Let's do weather for weather geeks. Uh, this will be an interesting couple of weeks ahead of us as winter will finally settle in just in time for Christmas. How cold? Will there be any snow? These are still question marks, but uh, confidence is very high at this point that a distinct pattern change will occur in about one week. But in the meantime, hey, today was a nice day. We talked yesterday about how the forecast for today was improving with a good deal of sunshine expected, and that came to fruition. We made it to 42 this afternoon after a frosty 28 this morning. We had some heavy frost across parts of the area overnight last night and first thing this morning. Quick time lapse from our Youngstown camera today uh, showing the bright sunshine throughout the uh, day. A few fair weather clouds in the mix. That was about it, but now clouds are increasing as we've transitioned into the evening. I'm recording this video at about 10 till 8, and at that point showers were moving through Mansfield, Sandusky, heading down towards Zanesville, uh, approaching I-77. Might even be a few sleet pellets mixed in uh, with some of these raindrops across north central Ohio. And as we head through the uh, overnight tonight, uh, a little bit of rain will impact our area. Could there be something other than just plain rain for a time? Yeah, maybe a couple of sleet pellets. Might even have rain falling into air that's right around 31, 32. So technically, we might have a brief period of freezing rain in some spots overnight, but I'm not real concerned about impacts from that. Might be a few snowflakes in the mix as well. For the most part, everything is just damp, and we'll stay that way into tomorrow morning. And as we get into the daylight hours on our Saturday, it's not going to look like today. A lot of clouds. Maybe there's a sprinkle. Maybe there's a shower. But the vast majority of the day will be dry. And then this uh, next disturbance pivots through late Saturday night, first thing Sunday morning, with another band of showers with that. We'll get off to a damp start Sunday, the bulk of the day. Again, pretty cloudy, uneventful. In the afternoon, temperatures will stay relatively mild for December anyway. And then we hang out in the clouds into Monday. I think we'll see some sunshine by Tuesday. So again, this weekend, a lot of people will be out and about doing some shopping. Only a couple weekends left before Christmas. And 42 Saturday, 42 on Sunday. You won't need the sunglasses much, but you won't need the umbrella much either. Best chance for wet weather overnight tonight and also overnight Saturday night and into first thing Sunday morning. All right, beyond that, let's talk about how things will go next uh, next week. Bring up our model here. and I'm going to show you a couple of different models this evening uh, dealing with the midweek system. This is the GFS. for uh, This is valid for Wednesday afternoon. Taken literally, the GFS would suggest that as this system comes through, uh, it begins as a period of uh, mixed precipitation, perhaps even some wet snow. That's Wednesday afternoon on the GFS. In contrast to that, this is the European model for basically the same time. Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening, it isn't even precipitating yet. So there's some timing differences here amongst a lot of our models. I've just showed you two, but there's you know a lot of other information that we look at. And yeah, there's some model differences. I do think that the slower European idea here is probably the more correct idea than that really fast GFS idea. Either way, it's probably going to try to rain some Wednesday, especially in the afternoon, into the night, some mixed precipitation, and then the pattern will definitely change some uh, towards the end of next week. Let's fast forward to the end of next week. This is Thursday, and then Thursday night, Friday, yee. Lots of isobars in the map here, some gusty north winds, some snow showers around... Might there be some accumulations in some parts of the area with uh, snow showers getting a little boost off the Great Lakes at the end of next week? Uh, that's going to be a possibility. Uh, low confidence on that. High confidence on the idea that it's about to turn a lot colder. What we're looking at here, temperature anomalies based on the European model here. And we're going to start out with the uh, middle of next week. And then look what happens. The cold just basically overwhelms the entire continent or the uh, uh United States anyway, parts of northeastern Canada aren't that cold, but uh, basically the lower 48 states, it's going to be hard to escape the cold at the end of next week and into the following week. So this is Tuesday the 20th, and actually uh, today's runs go all the way out to Christmas Eve morning. If this verifies what a cold Christmas Eve this is going to be, way below average, basically from coast to coast, with only just a couple of exceptions, maybe South Florida, uh, maybe extreme South Texas, Maybe, maybe Southern California, but otherwise the lower 48 states and the deep freeze here as we go towards Christmas Eve. And, you know, when I post maps like this, I get a lot of questions. Hey, is it going to snow? The confidence is there that it's going to be colder. The confidence of impactful snow, white Christmas, things like that, th those things are much, much lower. Today is only the uh, ninth. Uh, so we've got over two weeks until, until Christmas. So these are things we just don't know. I would say with this kind of cold, 
the odds of a white Christmas may be a little higher than the long-term climatological odds, which are about 45%. Um, but can we say, yes, there's going to be a white Christmas? No, we can't do that. We can't say if there's going to be snow on the morning of Christmas Eve or Christmas Day or anything like that. But what we can say is with a pattern that looks like that, uh, the odds are probably a little bit higher than average two weeks out for a white Christmas this year. We're going to talk a lot more about that run-up to Christmas and what could be coming our way next week on Weather for Weather Geeks. In the meantime, thanks for watching on this Friday evening. Have a great weekend, everyone. I'll see you right back here on Monday.